Hello everyone. Today we will do the OpenOffice Calc software. It is also uh, included in the same package. Uh, it is same as the um, spreadsheets that we have been using in Microsoft Excel. Um, the formulas are the same. The pattern is the same, but there are something that you some formulas that you need to learn. Okay, so uh, let's start. This is a complete workbook and it has various sheets. So um, these are various sheets in this workbook. Uh, so we can uh, rename a sheet by double clicking on it. So exam data uh, and you can rename a sheet by right clicking on the sheet or double clicking it. You can delete a sheet, you can insert a new sheet. So in sheet can be inserted before the current sheet or after the sheet and you can also write down the number of sheets that you want to add and the name of the sheets. So uh, here you can see I have added a new sheet but let uh, we will continue on the one which where we were uh, working which we have renamed earlier as exam data. Okay so in this sheet you can see it, it has columns and it has rows so the rows are named by the alphabets a b c d e f g h up to z and the columns are uh, columns are, uh, sorry the columns are indicated by a b c so this is column a this is column b c d and the rows are indicated by 1 2 3 4 so uh, when i click on a column uh, on any this and these are the cells so when I click on any cell, the name of or the allocation of the cell is indicated in this part, in this name box. So this is actually cell A1. So A1 indicates it is column A and row 1. So if I move to this, it indicates it is cell B1, that is column B and row 1. So uh, this is A2, this is A3, A4, A5 a5 and this is b1 b2 b3 b4 and so on so uh, if you are usually we have the habit of starting from cell a1 uh, and if you are uh, instructed uh, where, uh, from which cell you have to start you will start writing from that cell so until unless uh, you are being specified about a cell number you will definitely start from this cell Okay, so uh, if, if you see clearly these cells are, these are the logical lines uh, that are not physically shown in the sheet. So we have to uh, draw the borders for them so that the sheet looks like exactly this one. But uh, you see when we will write the data after writing, uh, we, will, we want to cover the data in the uh, borders. So we will add the borders to it. Let's start writing the exam data. We are going to create a result card um, for any uh, random class just for your practice. So let's start typing serial number, name, and quiz 1, quiz 2, and final, and total. So it's a random data. So if you write one two, uh, if you just write one and you drag it, you put, just select the mouse and you drag it. So it will automatically uh, fill the columns, fill the whole uh, column with the numbers. Okay, then start writing from here. We we can write the we can write any uh, names. Okay, and we will write down the marks of each quiz randomly 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And in quiz 2, again, we will write the, uh, the marks randomly 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Final is let's suppose final is out of 30. So we will uh, give the marks randomly out of uh, from 30 so 
30 means the marks will be any any marks 27 26 25 23 okay so let's uh, suppose we have only five students in our class for whom we are going to create the result okay let's do some uh, formatting first before uh, going to the actual calculations so to do the formatting you have to select the cells in which you have written some data so just select the, uh, those cells those rows and columns and let's suppose the for required font is times new roman so we will uh, do it from here the size is uh, 11 and it should be center aligned and uh, it requires some borders so we can do the formatting of cells from this or we can do with the formatting from this format tab so format of cells so we need some uh, border to be drawn so borders should be applied on, uh, we need all borders okay so this is uh, this will be set only on the ends this will be set on the uh, in the middle and this will set all the borders that is we need all the borders outer borders and inner lines so okay pressing okay will create all the borders and uh, uh, also i want to have some uh, background color to my uh, table so i can give any color to my table let's suppose uh, i'm giving this light color to my table okay so uh, one thing i forgot to add is that i forgot to write the uh, another row that is uh, the heading of the table so you can insert any row you can ins delete any row if you remember it later on so you just put the mouse here and you right click here and you insert the rows so another an, a new row will be added here here you will write result card so and uh, because this should be on all the rows so we will select this oh, sorry on the, all the columns you will select it and we will merge it to uh, take it to the center so all the cells will be merged in this way um, and uh, we will want to bold it so we select it and we will bold it okay I want my cells to be of a precise size so I will put my mouse here and I will double click and the cell will be resized according to the space they are taking and so in this way we have resized the columns and the uh, columns according to whatever is written let's suppose we have written here final exam and you see this is uh, it, it is now uh, uh, taking uh, more space than what is required so what we can do we can either double click it from here or if we don't want to we want we can uh, wrap the text so uh, wrap wrapping the text means uh, wrapping the text means you will wrap the text inside this cell okay so um, we can uh, make this uh, text in, in any cell uh, we can change this the direction of this text by this text orientation thing so either you can move it from this or you can simply uh, you can simply uh, write down select this and you can move it to 45 degrees or you can move it to 90 degrees or you can vertically stack them like this so the alphabet will be vertically stacked if you want to vertically stack it so it will also be vertically stacked but right now we do not need it so I will simply uh, leave it you can apply borders from this part as well if you do not find the formatting if you do not find the sidebar you can simply go to format and format cells and then you can form. you see all the uh, toolbars are same in this this is the same toolbar that you have seen in open office right to the same toolbar uh, uh, with some additions in uh, the presentation software and the same toolbar with some additions in uh, additions related to the calculation thing in this uh, uh, calc software okay one thing more is that keep on saving your work so control s is the key to success so keep on saving your work uh, else you will lose your data 
okay so uh, this is the address bar uh, whatever formula you will write whatever cell you click on uh, the value will appear in this uh, this bar so you see this is the address uh, this is the uh, formula bar where, uh, where you can see what you have typed so if you uh, feel like that there is some confusion in it uh, written in any formula so you just click on that cell and you will uh, see the result and uh, right now I don't have any formula written here that's why uh, this address bar is empty